Hello, 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 and welcome to another Ask Me Anything live stream. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm Rosemary Nani Knight. I'm the Prosperity Minister. I support you in leaving behind the pain of the past, all the stories of the past, all the drama of the past, all the nonsense of the past, and rising up victorious in your true design life, a life of freedom, of fulfillment, of financial overflow, and also a life a love-drenched life. That is your divine right if you are willing to claim it and leave behind the nonsense of yesteryear or yesterday or last moment, okay? Hey, and right now, how you can work with me is in something I call return home to peace and plenty. Say hello as you come on board. Say hello as you come on board. Return home to peace and plenty because as I just said, I believe that is your divine right. It is your true design to live a life of peace and plenty, okay? If you are willing, and that's the key thing here, if you are willing, most people say they are willing, it is one thing to say it, it's another thing to do the things that you need to do in order to actually create a life of peace and plenty. If you do the things that everybody else on the planet is doing, I promise you, you'll get the average life that everybody else gets too. Say hello as you come on board, lovely to see you all, see lovely to see you all. We're gonna start by singing the affirmation. I'm riding the white waves, riding the waves of plenty and basking in abundant wealth. Here we go. I'm riding the waves of plenty, I am riding the waves of plenty. I'm riding the waves of plenty. I'm basking in abundant will. I'm riding the waves of plenty, I am riding the waves of plenty. life absolutely man that's what i love too yes hey joe and hey aeon aeon ioni toteng i'm not really sure how to say that name but whichever way yes a love drenched life absolutely it is our divine right to live in that life and today's valentine's day isn't it depending on when you're listening to this of course but today's valentine's day i wrote this post which oh you know what a few days ago i was on the bike in because i love spin cycling if you don't know that yet you've not been in my world long enough <laughs> So I love spin cycling. I love spin cycling. That's my like exercise of all time. And I just kind of get in there. The lights are off. Music is loud. I just lose myself. I just, oh, it's me and God or the divine, whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm just connected. I'm feeling like I'm floating through the sky. It's almost like I've left my body. It's just amazing. And oh, I don't know, was it two days ago or so? I put on this song. Do you guys know that? Despacito song. I don't know. I really like it. I don't even really completely know all the words well, but it's just a, such a love song with Justin Bieber and some guys singing in Spanish or something. <laughs> so, and I put it on and it was on and it came on and I'm just like there and I could just see the divine almost like almost like a lover, you know? Not, in fact, there's no almost about it. It was like a lover just loving on me, just oh it was just amazing i know that can almost seem crazy to people who think that god is some austere thing out there somewhere watching you trying to judge you and all that but that's not who he is to me it's just oh. anyway you'll see the post on the page later on and it was just and he, the whisper that came through me was like you know what romance because in, in anticipation of of valentine's day romance is created in the mind of the divine we think that we, because I'm, I'm sometimes one of those people that would say, oh, it's just the um, supermarkets trying to get us to buy cards or the card card industry trying to get us to buy cards and this and the other. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It's, a, it's love, isn't it? It's love. And the divine. And the, when you are, when you open up to true love, prosperity opens up in every area of your life as well. We make it so complicated because we have these, crazy ideas about what the divine universe whatever name you give it means or is and that can so cut off your supply and my thing here guys is to help you get back in touch with the divine but also back in touch with the the life that is yours a love-drenched life a free life a fulfilled life 
a financially overflowing life. I do not believe that anybody is supposed to live in lack. I don't care where you are. It's just that we've all forgotten our true design. And that's the, part, that's the work here, is to help you come back if you are willing, if you are willing, because people talk, but then you're asked to do something, you just, oh, no, 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 I can't do that because I'm scared. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you keep doing what you're doing. But if you're ready for movement, then I invite you deeper into the Deliberate Millionaire community is what I call it. And one way of doing that right now is by working with me in peace and plenty or return home to peace and plenty. If you want to find out more about that, send me through um, the phrase peace and plenty and I'll get the links over to you so you can find out about it and join in. This is the most low cost it will ever be. Whatever, Whenever you're listening to this, it will be the most low cost it will ever be. So act. When you feel that nudge, you need to act. That's how you start to open up to increase prosperity in every single area of your life. That's how you do it. It's literally by listening to those intuitive nudges when something resonates with you and you feel a nudge to do something, you do the freaking thing. You don't second guess and start doubting and start wondering and start, oh, you have one life, get on with it. Anyway, the question for today. Oh, although yes, happy Valentine's Day to all of y'all. I'm sending you my love. Heart to heart, guys, I just I want you to feel completely enveloped in love wherever you are right now. Feel the energy I'm sending to you right now, right now. Feel loved. Know that you are completely and utterly loved exactly the way you are. You don't need to change a thing. You are fully accepted, fully loved. You are loved. Okay? Okay. Carry on. The question. So it was something along the lines, this person, there was a whole long, a bit, a bit more story around it, but the, the, the general gist of the question was, well, you, Rosemary, you were a pharmacist, you seem to have everything going for you, and now things, you know, you're prospering, blah, 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 and, and uh, what, of, what of me? I'm a single mother, I have all of these stories, and this and that happened, and I'm starting from a really depressed, low place. Can it work for me? Was the question. And I know in some ways, <laughs> even I've asked that question. <laughs> You know, when you're going through whatever hard times or whatever, it can feel like it works for every in fact, you know what? When I was when I went through bankruptcy and depression, I sold all of my personal development, all of my spiritual development books, everything because it was like, you know what, good things happen to everybody else. They don't freaking happen to me. Okay? <laughs> They don't happen to me. That's what I was telling myself at that point. So I got rid of all the stuff. I said, you know what, Rosemary, stop dreaming. Just realize that this is your life now. You're going to be just over broke for the rest of your life as a pharmacist. At least you're a pharmacist. Be blessed and happy that you got that far. Okay? <laughs> and all of, and all of and that. And that was the story I was telling myself for a good four years or so. So you know what? I do know what it's like. And I know people can say, okay, but you were a pharmacist then. But you forget where I came from. Okay, I didn't start as a pharmacist. I worked my ass off. I came from, I lived in Nigeria for a very long time. I came from arm robbers, from my father having car accidents and all of that stuff. And you know what? I'm not going to say, I'm not going to pretend that my, my mom worked her ass off to kind of give us some kind of a good life. So I'm not, I'm, I don't take anything away from that. They, they, my parents did the very best that they could, but I, there was a whole feeling of poverty around my around growing up there was fear around arm robbers coming around and killing everybody because because they want money from my mom would work a, work a bit and then somebody would come and try and take it all away in three seconds flat there was a lot of fear so i've come from there and then finally and there was i still remember even during university having a lecturer saying rosemary you just need to hold on until you become the pharmacist so whatever is happening financially just do whatever you can to just keep going till you get to the end well there was no chance of me ever not getting to the end frankly i'd seen too much poverty not to at least try to become the pharmacist so that hopefully when i become the pharmacist i have lots of money which was the intention but somehow i became a pharmacist and had less money <laughs> Basically, because I, I, I was spending it like a crazy person. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I do know what it's like to feel hopeless. Everybody can say that their story is somehow different from everybody else's, but this is the truth of the matter. It doesn't even matter what your crazy story is. It doesn't matter. That's why I say I'm here to help you leave behind the pain of the past, because it doesn't freaking matter what your story is. What matters is this. You are literally created in the image and likeness of the divine. I don't care 
where you are, who you are, what you are done, or where you're coming from, what your childhood was like, whether your parents beat you, put you in the first of first care. Don't care! Why? Because it doesn't take anything away from your true identity. Your true identity is powerful. Your true identity is that you are literally one with the divine. I don't care what you think your story is, unless you to keep telling your story, then it becomes real for you. But when I look at you, I see you, the essence of you. I see beyond the crazy stories that you've clouded around yourself that we all did at some point. And I see who, what could be if you will say yes to your true design. It doesn't matter where you're starting from. It doesn't matter how difficult your life is right now. It can all freaking turn around if you are willing. It's like somebody was asking me as well over email yesterday because, you know, I did that video. I don't know if you guys have watched it where we talked about how, why is it always a struggle for me or something along those lines. Anyway, those kind of questions that people ask. And this person was like, oh, I've even given up on God and this and that and the other. And frankly, if you want to give up on God, whether you call it God, whether you call it universe, whether you call it as just this higher power or you just know there's something, because everybody knows there's something else, isn't there? You know, more than just this flesh, blood and bone, at least in this community, we know that. Whatever we call it, I don't care what you call it. That's not the point here. Um, and she was giving up on that. I'm like, ah, that's the only, that's your biggest source. If you give up on that one, then you're in trouble. Because even I get angry. I used to get angry with the divine. I sometimes still do. I get angry with the divine, but we'd have a conversation about it. But I get angry with the divine, but when it came down to it, I'd realize, yeah, but that's my power source. If I get angry with my power source, then I'm really fucked up. <laughs> Frankly, let's just be honest. <laughs> okay, if I want to be as blunt as possible, then I'm really in trouble. So I need to re I need to reconcile that side of things because when it comes down to it, I am responsible for how my life is playing out. The divine is always loving you, whatever you call the divine, it's always loving you. Prosperity is always available to you in every single area of your life. It's always available. Always. You could be in the greatest, amazing, most amazing relationship. Oh, my husband. <gasps> my husband. My husband bought me a whole bar of chocolate. Now, just so you all know, Galaxy is my favorite chocolate. <laughs> Just so you know, if you ever in any doubt as to what to send me, send me Galaxy chocolate, okay? The plain kind, I don't want any other nuts or crazy, no, Galaxy. So my husband got me that, which is just amazing. I can't wait to eat it later. As well as an awesome little card with a nice little poem inside of it, which was just really, really pretty awesome. So it was really nice to come down at four o'clock in the morning to this in the morning on my chair waiting for me, which was just, oh magical but anyway where was i going before yes you can have empowering relationships like that I, I bear in mind that you know what even marrying my awesome husband it went against what most people would say is the thing that i should have done but i had to, i listened to the divine within me and now we have three amazing daughters oh one of which is about to turn into a teenager i cannot believe it we have, you know, we, oh, we've created an amazing life and you would never have known it from where we started. And yet I listened to the divine within because again, as I'm saying to you guys, we are created in the likeness, the image of the divine. We have access to incredible wisdom, incredible power, unlimited prosperity in every freaking area of our life. It all comes down to whether you are willing to become a clear channel for that prosperity. Are you willing to believe what you talk about and actually start implementing it in your life? Because most of us are spiritual people. We all believe this stuff that I'm talking about, but are you actually walking it out every single day? Now, some of y'all will tell me, and I would have said this myself, oh, I've been going to church. Or I've been going to my religious organization my whole life. And and yes, of course I'm walking it out. Honey, I didn't know nothing. And I was, I've been in church my whole freaking life. I didn't know nothing about actually taking what I was learning and making it real in my life until I started actually practicing certain things. Connection with the divine, getting that connection so I can hear back and forth, have that conversation back and forth. The, was it, what else? You know, getting clear on the things that I desire and stop instead of continuing to build a life that I didn't want, instead of continuing to think that the pharmacy was the only way forward, uh, having trust that actually I can change things and turn things around and having the courage to make my transition 
that was part of it. Um, what else? Clearing the crazy ideas and beliefs and nonsense that I was littering my system. And I'm still doing that. That one is going to be an ongoing thing. We live in a world that feeds us a heck of a lot of fear and nonsense. And that stuff gets in the way of your prosperity. And then taking action as though I believe the vision is already done. <laughs> taking action from an intuitive place rather than continually continually doing the same things that had obviously not worked before, but you continue doing them because everybody does them and that's the only way you know how to do it. And so you're too scared to do the intuitive nudgy, nudgy stuff. But I finally chose a different path. I call it the deliberate millionaire path now. But ultimately, at the time, I was just kind of, <laughs> Lord, what do I do next, man? <laughs> Basically, and, and you know, and we, and we continue to work this stuff out. We continue to expand. We continue to become more... But this is it. It doesn't matter. I suppose ugh, I could talk forever and just kind of keep talking. But what I really want you to take on board here is it doesn't matter where you start from. It doesn't matter what mistakes you think you've made. It doesn't matter what you think has gone wrong or is going wrong in your life. How do you hear the divine? I have a whole program on that, my love. So if you pop over to the store page, you look for how to hear back from the divine. I go into great detail with that every single thing every single program that i do i go into great detail around that so again these are the things where you make a decision to take the next step okay so you pop over to the store page if you go up to the top of the page there's a video there um there's a link around that video somewhere that leads you to the store page or yeah even if you come and join me in peace and plenty we'll be going deep into that because to me that's the very foundation of every freaking thing it's not complicated though, you know, it's not complicated. I, I don't want to pretend that it's some kind of complicated thing, but I know for me, it took somebody teaching me step by step exactly what to do because I'm not one of those that just think, I know what I know. I don't know. <laughs> so for me, it was somebody had to teach me. And so that's what I've distilled out and now teach other people exactly what to do in order for them to move forward. But you've got to make that decision that you're willing to learn, okay? So we are all created in the image and likeness of the divine. I don't care where you are. I don't care what's happening to you. It doesn't matter where you're starting from. You just need to be willing to recognize that, well, okay, we've probably bought into mass mind consciousness that isn't getting us anywhere. If I am going to get the life that I desire, I'm probably going to have to step off the broad path and go on to the narrow path. My narrow path, my true design path, because when I'm on that path, then things start to be magnetized to me irresistibly and I start to create the life that I desire. Everything that I do is to support you in doing that. Some of you will resonate with the work that I do. Some of you won't and that's fine. Find the person that you resonate with or maybe you don't need anyone, whatever. The divine is more than capable of teaching you personally. So that's absolutely fine too. But just recognize that there is going to be some implementation on your part. There's going to be some getting, well, there's going to be a lot of getting out of your own way. Because these things, life is supposed to be really simple, but we've been trained very well to complicate it as much as possible. And to think that the complication is the only way <laughs> to do things. The thing that I realize the more I grow and the more deeper, the deeper and deeper I go into the divine is actually it is, I'm stripping off most of the complications and I actually he's trying to get me back to my original, simple, childlike innocence. It's all the stuff I took on that I need to shed. But we don't always see those things because we're so drenched in them that you don't even know that it's happening to you. But again, please understand this. I don't care where you're starting from. You have power within you if you will learn to harness it and to use it for your good instead of your bad because most of us are using it to maintain a life we do not even want but we convince ourselves that there is no other way i am here to tell you that there are many many other ways so when you're ready to actually get off the broad path and get on path or come onto the deliberate millionaire path find your own path, whatever. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> for one, basically the divine is also waiting for you to say yes to your own self. So when you're ready, 
this isn't just, oh, we're just going to do some wishy-washy, pray, 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 pray forever. No, there's very practical stuff that needs to be done. I teach people to build businesses around their passions and things as well as just teach you to live it. Because it doesn't matter. It's not about being in business or not in business. It is also about whatever life you're choosing, that it is the best one for you. And that's what Pete, return home to peace and plenty is. I don't care what it is that you want to do with your life, whether it's in a job, or not in a job, whether it's a relationship, not in a relationship, whatever, whatever, whatever. You are someone of power if you will learn to tap into it. And that's what I would love to teach you, but I will not just hand it to you. You have to make a decision to learn the same as I did. I had to get over my craziness, get over my self-doubts, get over my fears and act despite them. <laughs> And as I acted, despite them, doors began to open in ways that I couldn't even, you can't predict whilst you're sitting on the fence waiting and hoping that somebody will come out and rescue you. No, 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 no. You are your savior, honey. You are your magic. You are the one that makes the decision to immerse yourself in something different. When you're ready, I have a heck of a lot of stuff to support you. Just ask. <laughs> Basically, for now... It doesn't matter where you start from. It doesn't. It just matters what you do next. That's all. You can draw a line under the sand at any moment and decide, you know what? I know, I know that maybe I've made all kinds of mistakes or maybe I'm here or maybe my parents made all kinds of mistakes. It doesn't even matter anymore. I am creating an image and likeness of the divine. I get to live an abundant, prosperous, free, fulfilled, financially overflowing, love-drenched life. And so now from this moment forward, I'm going to learn everything I need to learn in order to claim it. And I'm going to start implementing. So it's not just learning. I'm going to implement what I learn and I'm going to make it work. I know in my heart of hearts that I'm born for more and I will not stop until I have all of the more. That needs to be your sincere decision it's not looking to Rosemary or looking to some other teacher person or whoever to uh, that, that they, they will save me. No, no, no. It's taking ownership and knowing, you know what? I am powerful. I don't always feel it, but I am powerful. And so I'm going to tap into that power within me. I know I'm born for more. I will no longer settle for less. Let everything be shaken. But I know that I will still stand because I am born for more. When you're ready, because I had to, I got to rock bottom and then I had to get to a whole new level of rock bottom. So I got to rock bottom when I went bankrupt, got depressed, but then it was four years into depression, six weeks after giving birth to my third child, realizing that if I did not do something different, I was going to be find myself back at work, working 60, 80 hours, still trying to make ends meet, never seeing my children growing up. That shook me out of my passivity. That was my rock bottom. At that point, I thought, you know what? No. No! <laughs> there has to be another way. And then little by little, I found it. I invested a heck of a lot. I did scary. I still do scary things that most people would think, what? How can you do that? That doesn't seem sensible. I do it because I hear and I act. I hear what the divine is saying and I act. Sometimes I argue a little bit, but then I act. <laughs> Why? Because nothing, no one is worth my prosperity and I will not allow fear to stop me. Can you, can, are you ready yet? Are you in enough pain? It's crazy that we have to wait until we're in pain, but sometimes for most of us, it's like we have to be in enough pain. But you don't have to wait though, guys. You don't. You could actually grow through joy. I did a whole program on that. Outrageous joy. You could grow through joy. You don't have to grow through struggle. <laughs> <laughs> but the choice is yours you have free will when you're ready the resources the opportunities are always available to you are you ready okay we're going to finish by singing the affirmation if you want to work with me when this intake of peace and plenty return home to peace and plenty you need to send me the message peace and plenty and i'll get the link over to you you make sure you do that um today because we're closing at midnight eastern tonight okay your first module will be received on monday and our first live call will be not this Saturday, but the following Saturday, okay? So that you've had five days of receiving information, you're listening to it, and then you come and you have questions or whatever, and I look at, we help you, I, we're very, we dive deep into what's going on with you, okay? So, come and join in.
peace and plenty is the phrase to send me and I'll get you the link. For now, let's finish by singing the affirmation, guys. It's such a pleasure serving you in this way. I really, oh, I love doing life with you guys and I want to do life in an even deeper way with those who are actually ready to start to expand, to start to see miracles happening. And I say miracles, but I don't believe that miracles is just you opening up to what is already yours. So when you're ready for that, come on, let's do this thing together. I'm riding the waves of plenty, I am riding the waves of plenty, I am riding the waves of plenty, I'm basking in abundant wealth, I'm riding the waves of plenty, I am next time have a great amazing rest of your day valentine's day whatever whatever is happening to you today just know that you are incredibly incredibly loved you really are you really are until the next time go forth and prosper share this with someone else because you know other people really need to hear this kind of stuff so share 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 go forth and prosper Thank you, Reginald. Always a pleasure to have you on here. <laughs> thank you, honey. You're always encouraging me, which is really, really nice. So thank you so much, Reginald, as well. And thank you for everybody else for being here, too. Thank you, guys. Okay. Much amazing love. Bye.